Hi, Morgan Hibbs here with Lynn County Farm Bureau. I'm so excited to be visiting your classroom for our December virtual lesson. This month we are going to learn about a farm animal that can be found here in Iowa. Now we are going to learn all about milk today. But where does milk come from? You can pause this video if you'd like to brainstorm as a class, or you can continue watching. Most commonly, the milk we drink here in Iowa comes from dairy cows, but milk can also come from other animals like goats, sheep, llamas, camels. We can drink milk from lots of different animals, but most of the time we drink milk that comes from dairy cows. Now there are two different types of cows. There's dairy cows and beef cows. Dairy cows specialize in giving us milk beef cows specialize in giving us beef. You might also brainstorm in your class or in your small group milk substitutes like almond milk or soy milk. Those are not true forms of milk but they can be substituted for milk and those uh, types of milk come from plants. Today we are going to learn all about the dairy cow. We have a variety of fun activities for you to do as a class. But first I would like you to pause this video if you have not already watched our read aloud story. If you have, you can resume play. But if you haven't had a chance to watch that video, I encourage you to pause. Our story today is called Tales of a Dairy Godmother. Now that you've listened to our story and you've come back and resume play, what happened in the story? Where did the milk come from? How did the milk get from the cow to the grocery store? Those are all things that you might have learned in our story. Here are some different samples I wanted to show you that you would find on a dairy farm. So first I'm going to show you some different types of feed sources. So this first one is hay. Hay is a type of grass that dairy cows enjoy eating. Their dairy cows are in a free stall barn most of the year, but there are times where the cows will go on a vacation uh, when they are no longer producing milk for the year. And once they start producing milk again, they will come back into the free stall barn where they will enjoy hay. When they are outside, they are usually on pasture, which is fresh grass in the summertime. Uh, but during the winter season, we don't have fresh grass here in Iowa. Uh, so hay is made in the summertime. It's grass that is mowed and put into big round bales. It's similar to when you mow your own grass at home. This is straw. Straw is made from oats or rye. Straw is not as nutritious, doesn't have as much uh, vitamins or nutrients for the cows, uh, but it does provide a great bedding. But farmers can also use mulch, wood chips. We have here, we have corn. This is field corn. You might remember this from our dress up like a corn plant lesson. This is not sweet corn, this is field corn used to feed animals. This is what it looks like the on the cob when it's in uh, the fields and then the farmers come through with a combine and harvest the corn and pretty soon we have a bucket of shelled corn. Here is a calf bottle that looks a lot larger than the bottles that we use uh, but calves are a lot bigger than people. The baby calves drink from a bottle until they are old enough to drink milk from a bucket. Because the cows produce milk for people and they are very good at producing milk, the farmers will care for the baby calves by using a calf bottle to add milk to, milk replacer, uh, to take care of the baby calves as they grow. Here is an ear tag. Ear tags are used to help keep track of the cows. Just like how we have names, the dairy cows don't usually have names, but they do have a number. This helps the farmer keep track of which cow is which. We are going to look at different breeds of dairy cows. So dairy cows can be all different colors uh, and all different sizes. So here's a Holstein dairy cow. This is the most popular dairy cow. Uh, it's also the highest milk producing cow. Here is a Jersey cow. 
So we have tan and brown cows. Here is a brown Swiss. Ashire, which is red. A milking shorthorn. And those are just a few of the different breeds or different kinds of dairy cows. You have a few different activities in your kit or online. There is a label the dairy cow worksheet here that is looking at different products that we can make with uh, milk. So you can cut the products out on the side, the different foods, and then place them, the ones that have milk in them, in one of the buckets. So you can glue the pictures that have milk into the bucket. So we have things like ice cream, cheese, yogurt, milkshake, uh, all of those things would have milk in them. To send home, or you can also uh, collect the supplies if you would like to make this as a class, but to send home, we have a homemade butter recipe. And it has all of the steps to make butter. And there's only three ingredients. All you need is heavy whipping cream, salt, and yellow food coloring, and a small container with a lid. Okay, let's do some math. Okay. For our math activity, we are going to count spots. In the different breeds, we saw that dairy cows can be black and white, they can be red and white, uh, they can be brown and white, but most often dairy cows can have spots. So we are going to, to roll the dice and use the palms. You can do this with colors or if you just have one set of palms, you can uh, use just one color. But we are going to roll the dice and then choose our palms to add to the dairy cow. You can do this as a class underneath the um, document camera or you can have the students practice this on their own if you have enough dice for the students. We got the number four. So we are going to pull four palms from our cup and add them to our dairy cow. Now you can continue to roll the dice until you have all of the palms from the cup or you can start over. So